Welcome to part number 28 of Gran Turismo 5 A Spec. This is the movie Chicane, and today we're gonna do the FF challenge in the beginner league. So let's just go ahead and get started here. Here's the FF challenge and three races: Zuka Special Stage Route 5, or Club and Stage Route 5, and Deep Forest Raceway. So for the first car we're gonna use. With the Mazda Demio. So yeah, that's our competition for the field, and we're gonna be underpowered, but yeah. All right, here we go. So yeah, we're gonna be severely lacking on the straights, but and the corners I think we'll do okay. And don't worry about it, abstracts. Doing fine. Thank you for asking. My weekend? My weekend was all right. Yeah, of course the lads all passed me. But yeah, my weekend was okay. I just did work. You know, Saturday was uh, Saturday was really dead at work. Sunday was really busy. But um, but yeah, it was fun. Yeah, so. The reason why I knew that we were going to be fast in the, in the corners is because I remember Jimmer did this with uh, the Haitsu OFC 1, I believe, in old stock. And yeah, everyone passed him on the straights, but in the S's, he was just superior to all the other cars. Ah, nice, man. Making me more jealous every day I see you bragging about your TBR. Go on the outside. Do I just outbreak you? Ah, no! I can't kill the kids inside the back seat of this Demio. Thick baguette. Yep, that's right behind us. The freaking be gone. Megan. Yeah, no kidding, dude. So just navigating through the final corner, and one more lap around Suzuki East. And best thing. <laughs> that is the most pathetic horn ever. Holy baguette. Oh so Ben, since you've been to the Nurburgring with your Integra Type R, um How you know how how does it work in terms of the track day, like was it expensive? Like, did you have to pay a lot of euros or whatever currency is used in Germany? I think it's euros, but yeah, did you have? To, was it a lot? Was it was it not that much for a track day? Because obviously, I'd love to go there one year, you know, maybe rent a car or something and go do a track day or something like that. But that is a sad horn. Twenty euros per lap? That's, dude, that's still worth it. Cause a lap is, you know, Nurburgring is a long course. It is a long circuit at the end of the day, so that is well worth it. Sweet. And yeah, we win. First round at Suzuka East. I completely forgot the circuit for a minute. Oh, 
Oh, you can rent a car from the circuit? Oh, as a one-way toll road? Really? Even though it's... You know it's a circuit? I guess it is a road in a way. Some people do use it as a highway. There you go. Alright, so next... Uh... Shit, I didn't think about this. What the hell do I want to use for this? Now screw it, we'll use the OFC one. Actually, no, no, no. This is a much faster circuit. So, yeah. I'm gonna go with... Let's go with the Mini Marcos. We already used the Prius, man. God damn it. I'm not using a Prius again. Let's go with the Mini Marcos. I didn't even know that thing was um, front-wheel drive. I thought it was a MR car. Mazda Excella. I think it's Bay. Yes, I said it's Bay. Nice car. So when you drive on the North Schleife, you're driving it as a um, as a toll road, as he, as Ben mentioned, and not as a track day. Oh, apart from the speed limit. Oh. So there is no speed limit, but pass on the left side. But imagine the amount of tourist money they must get, dude. Just from like the the toll the toll fees. You want to drive on the North Life Moon. This thing is a nice little car. What the hell is a route master? Wait, the the autobahn. Wait. Okay. Yes. 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 Isn't the Autobahn, like, right next to the Norschleife? Because I remember I, I had an old co-worker for my first ever job. He was telling me, you know, he went to Germany, right? Because he took, like, a whole month off because he went to Turkey, then I don't know wherever the hell else, and then he went to Germany. And he was like, I was on, you know, one of the Autobahns, or the Autobahn, I don't remember what he said. And then he was like, I saw, like, these, these bleachers on top of a hill or something. I'm like, that must have been the Nürburgring. I'm like, that sounds like you're, it sounds like you passed by the Nürburgring, and he's like, what the hell is that? I'm like, it's probably one of the most famous racetracks in the world, one of the most difficult ones, too, of how just brutal it is. Ah, oh, shit. He accidentally hit the PS button instead of the, um... The TCS button right here. It's okay, I can still win this race. Oh, definitely. I mean, it, it is a public roadway. You know, by law, it would be considered a public ro roadway. So I guess any damages you do to it, you would have to pay for it. That makes sense. I think here that's how it works too. I'm trying to like force my way through the Hyundai. Yeah, this Mini Marcos obviously lacks on the straights, but the corners it's much better. It would have been worse if we used the OFC one like I wanted to at first. It's probably a car we're not going to use. Or if we do use it, we might use it for lightweight K car cup, but I don't know yet. Holy shit. The boys are coming. Yeah, we BTCC now, boys. That reminds me of that race. I think it was Flynn and B-Spec. He was driving the Integra Type R going up against the 
03 or 04 model, I think. Oh shit! One part is the Avis track? I did not know that. Yeah, I don't really need to shift down. Just stay in fourth, but I don't know. That's like a medium horn. Oh, so it was an oval. Was it basically just an oval, Arthur? Then again, this is like way back in the day, so... Probably dangerous as hell. Yay, barely any XP. We're gonna take a long time to get to level 34 at this rate. Alright, so last but not least is Deep Forest Raceway. And... That circuit's a little bit more technical than... PSR5, so I'm gonna go ahead and just take a gamble with this thing. But I really like that car a lot. Not much, Mike. How are you? Okay, trying this race again. I went ahead and upgraded the tires to sport hearts to comfort mediums. I know we can win this race if we just put in some good performances here at the forest and get a bump from the faster cars behind us. Okay, I gotta check that out then when I get a chance. Vector pushes, yes. Oh yeah, much better in the corners now. Look at that, up to third now. Of course, the Integra Type R is leaving the race. Gonna stay flat on the gas. Maybe press the gas pedal harder and be number one. I think that's how we can win the race. We can flat out through this corner. Yes, we can. I wonder with the new tires if we can go flat out through the final corner. Probably not, but we're gonna try to. Nope, gotta lift a little bit. Fair and balanced overtake right there. Playing on adding any other course to the collection bin? Or is that it for you? That's probably it for you because you don't have space for your tag. Although I've never heard anyone call it a tag before. Okay, Integra. What your Integra do you have, by the way? And he's gone. Not yet, though. Not yet. We could probably get him in the final corner. Or hell, maybe even this set of corners, we can at least set up for the last three corners of the track, maybe? Of course, uphill, we lose out because the Integra has so much more power. Oof, Ben.
And we have one more shot of doing this. Pegra's hard on the brakes. He left. Outside move. There we go. See, momentum. That's how you do it. And a fucking stock mini. This is a fun car to drive. I really like this 1.3i. Mr. Bean is proud. Too bad it's only in the Japanese version of GT4 because for some odd reason it just wasn't in the American or Power Region version. This thing you find in the classic dealership. See a mini you like. <laughs> Thanks, Matt. So yeah. There we go. That is the FF challenge. And we went to EG Civic. E Color is it in? It's in yellow. Damn it. Actually, I like it in yellow. I do. But I want it to be in red. Because memes. But yeah, that's our Civic in Carnival Yellow. It looks really nice in that color. So, are you going to end up selling it then, Ben? Is that your game plan, or no? Not quite. So yeah, here's our 91 Civic. And next time on Gran Turismo 5 A-Spec, we do the World Compact Car Race.